All right, we're pulling. All right, we're pulling the brakes right now. Right now, get over in the right lane if you can. All right, I'm operating the brakes right now. We're live, we're guys. We're, good. we're live here in Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, we were sitting here talking. I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it because, like, we're talking. Like, we're driving a car right now with no brakes. Okay. And so that is the thing. We're getting on the interstate, and we were talking about it, like. A lot of people don't drive cars with no brakes, and so this should be an experience, you know, that you yeah. guys should share with me. This is Joe Bob Live for sure. Um, I pull the emergency brake, and she puts it in neutral or vice versa. We're about to show you a little bit of experience. But right now, I'm going to show you the interstate we're going down. By the way, I got to say something real quick on this video. I was going to make another one about it, but I didn't word it right. The other night, it was at this gas station. This lady freaked out. She was throwing water bottles. She couldn't buy a single 12 ounce beer out of a six pack. They totally didn't sell it like that. She flipped out, chuckled like a little bitty child, and a lot of rage came out of me. And I want to say, it's really important, guys, when people don't act like you or they don't believe like you, to make sure that maybe you, if you make sense of your beliefs, to maybe like not, you know, throw that person out the front door. Like you're smashing one of those concrete things outside, you know, in the parking lot with the door out front. Maybe, you know, maybe like that, you know, fucking, uh, you know, the Yemen guy puts the fucking unit in her head. I really don't know. You know what I mean? It's not the way to handle shit. And I was fired up and Jesus Christ would not come out of me that day. But I want to tell you guys something. I'm drunk and I just want to make a point. Please don't judge everybody. It's not about Biden or Trump. It's not about black or white. It's not about any of that stuff, guys. Yeah, like we're all human, man. You know what I'm saying? And what you believe, kind of, if you think about this, like every seven years kind of changes. You know what I'm saying? Think about that shit, bro. Seven years ago, something you thought you lived for and believed in is not the same no more, right? Exactly. Think about that shit. We're drunk. Trying to drive it up like you got it. All right. We're getting on the fucking ramp. See, it's a, it's a ramp. See what I'm saying? We're getting on the interstate. I am drunk, folks, but it could be a lot worse. It could be snorting heroin. My supporters care about me. You know what I'm saying? My, my subscribers, man. I care about them. I'll tell them when you win. Tell them I'll oh, get hurt. Yep. Scallywag did nothing today but smoke cigarettes and smoke some weed and drink some beers. And go to work and make money. Well, yeah, but I mean, I'm telling them now, if anything, they might be concerned about you consuming. I thought I was right, right. supposed to verify that you not taking any illicit substances. Right, and I didn't today. And the scallywag here is actually on the right path. We're trying to go to work. We're trying to make money for the prostitute house. We're trying to make things happen. We're trying to get Steve out of the pawn shop. We're trying to fly the drone that I have over there. We're trying to get a 5K phone so I can do that. We're trying to bring footage to you guys. And I've got a lot of fucking foot, a lot of footage on uh, SD cards. And you guys have no idea. There's a lot of things that are come up in the future that are really blow your mind. But right now, Try to get home alive, but it happens driving a car with no brakes. Notice I have stayed way far away from the We're a long way from my house, see, because like my house is over in North Cleveland. We're on the other side of 240 down here by the Covenant bike exit, so we got a long ways to go. I think I went the wrong way. I probably should have gone the other way around Pretty much, but I mean, hey man, we're just kind of here for the ride, right? But I'm also going just enough below the speed limit to make all these people want to pass me so that I don't feel like I'm right behind anybody. I feel a little less likely to slam into someone on the interstate if for yeah. no other reason than there is an emergency lane I can dunk into if I must. I'm a hoping that we make it back in one piece. We will. I have faith in this, man. We do this all the time. The thing is, like, the other day, guys, the other day, guys, I got to go, we're on the four, like, point thirty mark, whatever. The other day, we actually had a, a little bit of a problem. We didn't judge things right, no brakes. We rolled actually into traffic, got saved. It was amazing. But none of us were screaming like a little girl or a little snowflake. We were facing death with 